Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen of Somaja 99 and I wanted to do a Divine Feminine Energy check-in this week because it was very popular last time. So we're going to have a look at the energies of the Divine Feminine at the moment, the current energies that we're picking up. I hope you're all doing well out there. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, no, you can't comment, I'm sorry. I've still got the comments switched off at the moment. But there will be a giveaway at 2.5 thousand subscribers of a free deck or a free reading to one of my subscribers so let's get the energy so we've got the phoenix beautiful lady of lightning the metal king just gonna put the light on it's better dream walker arrow master eyes of beauty Spiral Dancer, Camel Boy, Spirit Whisperer, and Swan Queen. So let's clarify these with the tarot. So the Phoenix, Resurrection, Surrender, to Change. So the Phoenix, I feel that's the feminines at the moment. You're going to be like the Phoenix. You're going to rise out of the ashes, out of the worries, out of the negativity, out of the difficulties that you're going through, you're going to rise like the phoenix and you're going to surrender to the divine. You're going to surrender to what hate, fate, destiny has in store for you right now. Because sometimes that's all we can do is just surrender. Because, with the, you know, controlling things doesn't always give us the best outcome if we try and control the situation. So why is phoenix here? Wow. Ten of Cups, beautiful, beautiful. So you're wanting this for yourself. You're wanting this love, this loving relationship. And they've got a small child. And, you know, if you're at that age that you want that family, why shouldn't you have that? You know, a loving relationship, a, a, a baby, you know, this beautiful loving relationship in your life. You deserve that for yourself. If that's what you're wanting, you deserve that. Okay, know that you deserve that. And then we've got Lady of Lightning. Surprises, shocks, total paradigm shifts. So to me, the Lightning, the Lady of Lightning, is a bit like the Tower energy in the Tower. There could be sudden changes, sudden surprises coming in. And if you look at my other readings, the one I did today about the 555 portal, about connections... There's some beautiful messages in there. And there are definitely some shifts in energy. So why is Lady of Lightning here? Wow. Wow. We've got the Empress energy. And look at all the butterflies. You know, you're, you've been going through that transformation. And this Empress is pregnant as well. Some of you could already be pregnant. Or that's going to happen for you very soon, Okay. You're going to, you know, be very fertile. You're going to have that child. But there is a beautiful transformation where you're in that divine feminine energy of abundance, of love, of a nurturing, you know, and that beautiful transformation of the butterflies energy. You, you've really been through a transformation. And we've got the Metal King, Discipline, Armour, Boundaries. So I feel this is like a past energy. I feel that a lot of you had boundaries or sorry, had your armour up, you know, to protect yourself. You were disciplined. Um, but you've now, sorry, now you've got these boundaries in place. And it's time to really let down your boundaries to be, sorry, your armour, to, to, you know, release that armour, to be vulnerable. Okay? But do have boundaries. Do have boundaries because that is good self-love to have those boundaries so why is the metal king here and this could be talking about your divine masculine we've got five pentacles so that is that energy isn't it a feeling left out on the cold you know that lack feeling of not having that love somebody not giving us that love that, that affection that warmth feeling like that and this could be to ourselves even i feel um, a lot of feminines, there was a lack of self-love and you were leaving yourself out in the cold. But I feel because you're in that impress energy, you, you've really overcome these um, self-doubts, self-limiting thoughts 
and you're in the energy of self-love. And we've got the dream walker. Dreams, the collective good, illusions. So it's good to dream. I feel maybe you're connecting with your masculine in your dreams. Or your dreams are very um, have very powerful messages. So pay attention to your dreams right now. Pay attention to your dreams. What messages? Keep a dream diary. What messages are you... You know, your subconscious or your guides or angels trying to get through to you. Wow, we've got the star energy here. So, to me, it's healing. You know, you've been for a period of healing. But this is also about wish fulfillments. This is about manifesting your desires in your life. And you can do this in your dreams, you know. Maybe you're manifesting in your dreams you know, your your subconscious thoughts and desires are there in your dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. And then we've got the arrow mask. So hitting the mark, intention, detachment. So yeah, the intention is about when you manifest, is setting those intentions and then just detaching from the outcome. You know, you, you, you focus your arrow, if you like, of intention on what it is you desire to manifest. And then you have to let go. So it's a focus intention, but let go of the outcome, okay? Not, it's, don't try and control the outcome of your manifestation. We're co-creating with the universe. So why is the arrow must here? Got four of pentacles. So again, there was that feeling of lack, you know, feeling of holding on too tightly, not being in that generous state of mind. Um, for fear of lack, okay, why else is the Four of Pentacles here? But you've gained in strength, okay, you've gained in strength, in wisdom, and we've got the beautiful sunflowers here, could be Leo energy around you, could be Leo, but there's beautiful strength here, okay, you've gained in strength through this difficult process that you've been through, you've gained a lot of strength, a lot of wisdom, because we've got the eagles there as well. And we've got eyes of beauty, positive expectations and clarity. So you're seeing things from a different point of view. You're seeing things from through the eyes of beauty, you know, with that good, positive outlook. And you're seeing things clearer. Yeah, we've got ace of swords. So, yeah, you've got that clarity. You've got the truth. And we've got the beautiful butterflies again. So you're going to receive clarity if you haven't already. There's going to be some sort of truth or clarity coming in. And then we've got Spiral Dancer, Circuitous Root Perception. So you could have been going round around in circles with your masculine. It could have been, or, or even with your own self, your own thoughts. You know, we get into thoughts going round and round in our head. Okay, maybe you were going round and round in your head about this connection and your perception of it. And we've got the Hierophant Energy. So... You know, I do think you're seeing things from a different perspective, that spiritual perspective now. And this is about tradition. And maybe you have traditional values with regard to love and romance. Maybe this is to do with your traditions, with your spirituality. I've got Camel Boy. Small steps asking for help. So, yeah, take it one step at a time and always ask for help. You know, sometimes we can be too independent. Sometimes we all need help from others. So don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help when you need it, okay? So why is this one here? Got eight wands. And we've got some beautiful horses here. They're, no, they're like unicorns, aren't they? I love unicorns. So the Eight of Wands is movement forward and it's passion. You know, there's going to be communication coming in, I feel. Movement forward. And this is the unicorns. So it's very powerful energy, I feel. Very powerful. And we've got the Spirit Whisperer, Divine Guidance, High Knowing. So we've got a beautiful owl here. So I feel that you're really connecting to the Divine your crown chakra could be opening or open. You're accepting that higher knowing. You're you're connecting to the wisdom of the ancients. And we've got five of cups. So we've got a lot of fives in this reading. So five is about change. So there are changes. I think we've got five, 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 which is today. <laughs> I just realised that is today. Oh, my God. You can't make this stuff up, can you? 
So five of cups energy, you know, sadness, disappointment in love, you know, looking at looking at the bad aspects. But sometimes we need to just learn our lessons and move forward. So why is the five of cups here? Wow. And then we move into the six of cups. So that can be that reconciliation, that reconnection, soulmate energy. You know, you could be reconnecting with somebody. OK, because um, you're, you're reminiscing could be somebody you've known in this lifetime or it could just be a soulmate from another lifetime that you're going to connect with because of the energies you're in. And then we've got Swan Queen, transformation, intuition and patience. So really use your intuition at this time. You've been going through a transformation. So we've got the swans here. So that is a symbol of twin flame connections. So a lot of you could be in twin flame connections or disconnections. But use your intuition. You need patience. You're going through transformation. There's transformation occurring, not just in you, but in the masculine energy. So why is the Swan Queen here? Wow, the Tower. Sometimes that is how change happens with the Tower. And it doesn't have to be bad. Sometimes we don't go along the path that we're meant to and spirit will intervene with the tower something may come in that will shake up your world and it doesn't have to be a bad thing it's to steer you in the right direction okay um something could come in that will make you go in a different direction that's the way i'm feeling about that so why is the tower here because we've got page of cups energy so I feel this is like a new start in love. There could be a message of love coming through. And we've got the beautiful full moon energy here. Okay. And she's in the water. She's in her feelings. She's really feeling those feelings. So that could be the start of something. Why is the page of cups here? This is a crystal visions tarot, by the way. Beautiful images. We've got judgment. So judgment will be served, okay? You will get what you're deserving of at this time. And with the world card energy, it's the start of a new cycle. And we've got the unknown card. So we can't always see exactly what's meant for us because we do have free will. And we can make our own reality with our manifestations of what we want for ourselves okay so the potential is limitless of what you want for yourself so what other energies so i feel you were in an energy of low self-esteem you could some of you could still be in that energy you weren't taking care of yourself but you are going to come out of that because we see the empress energy here okay so you you might be going for a phase of that some of you could be stuck in a rut, fear of change. That's why the tower's going to come in. If you're stuck in that rut, you're going to be shaken out of that. Some of you are very work-focused, very driven, okay, but not given enough time for leisure activities or family life. So your life is out of balance. So again, that would be why the tower would come in. We've got healer energy here. So some of you could be healers could be Reiki healers, crystal healers, or you're going to discover that you have a talent for that. And you're spending a lot of time alone. Some people might call you selfish, but sometimes we need that alone time to do that inner work, that healing. But you could be feeling lonely. You know, you could be feeling a bit lonely. But you're in a loving, giving, supportive energy. Um, so you have that beautiful, loving energy within you. And some of you could have been in hermit mode. You know, you spent a lot of time alone. But as I say, this could be because you're doing that healing, that inner work. And sometimes we need to be alone to do this. But you're, you're in an energy of good expectations. You're feeling positive about the future here. And you're feeling emotional. You could be very connected to the moon energies. But you're feeling in a flexible mood. You're willing to go with that flow is what I feel. But you've had heartbreak, you've had anger over this separation with your Divine Masculine, okay? And I feel that a lot of you have worked through that and are releasing it. Or if you haven't done, you need to. 
and there is regret here over what's happened okay there is regret but again you you just need to forgive yourself okay we all make mistakes but you want to be in that playful energy that fun it childlike energy you're feeling hopeful and you're feeling grateful so be in that energy of gratitude you know the more we can be in that energy of gratitude the more we can attract in to be grateful for when you start counting your blessings you know you'd be surprised how many you have so a lot of you are feeling content right now you're in that content energy so you're in a good place in your life basically so the message here keep an open mind about the people you meet so you could be meeting new people just keep an open mind live your life with energy and enthusiasm as this is contagious with everyone you meet so being a good energy, being that positive energy, which I think a lot of you are. Never judge a man or woman unless you've walked a mile in their shoes. So, you know, if there's any judgmental energy for, on your part towards your masculine, you know, try and release that, okay? And try and see things from their perspective. You know, we don't, you don't know what they're going through. And let your masculine be the one who comes towards you. Let him feel his power as a man of action. Be open to his words. So I do feel a lot of masculines are going to come forward. It came up in my pick a pile reading today. And being that empress energy, which is that receptive feminine energy, be in the energy of, of receiving. Don't be the one chasing. Don't be the one trying to communicate. Let them come to you and be open, okay? Be open to what they have to say. So what does the feminine want to say? You make me so damn horny. Everything about you turns me on. I've been trying to bury the pain with unhealthy addictions. So, you know, this pain, this anger, this heartbreak, you could have been using drink or drugs or sex, you know, to bury the pain. And it's a scary place to be, but sometimes we need to feel that pain and work through that pain to feel the pain, to come out the other side of it. And you'll feel better if you do, rather than trying to numb it or suppress it. It's a scary place to be. Believe me, I've been there myself. But we need to do these things sometimes. I don't feel worthy of your love after I effed up so badly. So, again, you know, you need to get into that Empress energy. As I say, the energy is there for you to, to um, get into that energy. You getting angry with me and being bossy gets me horny. I think about you dominating me in the bedroom. So, a lot of you are feeling in that submissive energy. You want to be dominated by your masculine you want him to show his power his masculine power i want to kiss you intensely and rip off all your clothes so there is that passion deep deep passion here so what else does the feminine want to say with one smile i was weaker than ease you took my breath away with one look so there could have been that instant attraction i'm working on being the best version of myself because the old me wasn't good enough for you so again being hard on yourself but there's nothing wrong with trying to improve the way we are. But have that self-love, that self-worth, okay? Because nobody's perfect. Who would have thought that life could be so complicated? It seems everything is working against us right now. And I know you are angry with me for ignoring you. I'm so frustrated with myself. Why can't I communicate? So again, some of the feminines could have struggled to communicate. I desperately want to talk with you, but I don't know what to say after ghosting you for so long. So... If you were the ones that ghosted or blocked, you know, you may find it difficult. But maybe unblock, you know, this person to give them the opportunity to come forward to you, okay? So we've got some soul healing messages. So we get inner child. Love your inner child. Comfort, nurture and heal. Connect with your playful energy. So release that inner child, you know, play with that child energy. You know, nurture it, love it, you know. It's part of you. Powerful, you are powerful, stand in your own power in your life, take back control of your life. Know that you are powerful in your own life. You are the one that takes the lead in your life. Be the one that takes that control of your life and steer your life in the direction you want it to go. And have faith in yourself, have faith in your guides, angels and gods, trust in, trust in the divine and self. Develop a good relationship with yourself before beginning one with another. So this is talking about that self-love, that self-worth, knowing you are worthy, knowing that you are a loving person that is deserving of all good, and be in that loving relationship with yourself before starting one with anyone else. So finally, some affirmations. I am unique, quirky, innovative. I embrace my eccentricities and authenticity, as a divine expression of life, 
I make choices by using wisdom and discernment. I have a clear vision of perception. I can't speak. I embrace my inner child and view the world with a childlike curiosity. I nurture myself as I'm open to love and play with life. Beautiful. So as I said, confirmation to use that inner child energy. Get in touch with your playful fun side because it's a beautiful side, okay? So there are your messages, Divine Feminine, sending you lots of love and blessings. Take care.